So in this video is for NEET 2021 aspirants. Two days are remaining. You must be feeling a lot of pressure, which is natural. But what is important is this pressure is not going to be very helpful to you. And therefore, it is very important that you somehow try and manage this pressure as much as possible. I'm trying to give you some advices here. You can follow this or you can follow whatever good thing you are hearing from your parents, your friends. But what is important is you should not feel the pressure of the exam day when exam day is only two days away. So first thing I want to tell you is no exam is do or die. No exam is do or die. First of all, put this thing in your head. Neat exam is not the most important thing in your life. When you will have a kid, that will be much more important than neat exam. Right? When you will become a grandfather, that would be a more, more, more important than neat exam. So this is not the most important thing in your life. First thing, you should put, in, uh, put this in your head. Right? Second thing is, which means, <clears throat> keep saying to yourself, all is well. I will do well. I have prepared. I will go and write the exam and whatever has to happen, will happen on the exam day. I'm not going to feel the pressure because this is not a do or die exam. No exam is worth dying for. Right? Second thing, if you get 20 questions wrong, you will still score 620. Just imagine this. This will relieve a lot of pressure. If you get 20 questions wrong, you will still score 620. Which means now you don't have to worry about what you don't like, what you are weak in, you don't understand ray optics, you don't understand equilibrium, you don't understand rotational motion, doesn't matter. Whatever you don't understand, don't worry about it in the remaining days. What you should remember is, even if I get 20 questions wrong, I will score 620, which is a reasonably good score. I will be very, very surprised if anyone doesn't get a government college in this country at 620 score after this NEET exam. So this is a reasonably good score and you can get 20 questions wrong and you will still reach here. So just revise peacefully and forget about revise your strong areas. Forget about your weak areas now. Doesn't matter. We can get 20 questions wrong. This is the second thing. Third thing, your parents and your friends, they will continue to love you irrespective of your need score. You score very well, you get into AIMS early, you don't score well, you are not selected, doesn't matter. They will always love you. So you should not feel the burden of their expectation. They are not expecting. They want you to be happy, they want you to be successful, but because they love you, not because they want to know only people who are successful. Please understand this. So don't feel the burden of expectations, which is not there on the part of your parents or your friends, right? That will relieve pressure. Third thing, they will always love you. And finally, eat well. If you don't want to have boring food, order interesting food, go for pizza, go for burger, whatever you like. Go for pakoda, whatever you like. But eat well. Feel happy after eating well. Sleep well, 7 to 8 hours a day. And only revise, no new topics. If you don't understand something, this is not the time to fix that problem. Whatever you have studied is enough. Just try and revise things. Go for mind maps, go for whatever you have bookmarked, that is good enough. I want to tell you one thing which we have done is, we have provided a PDF on our Need Prep Telegram channel of all the solved examples and NCRT back exercise converted to MCQs of all the physics chapters. You can go and download it. It looks like this. Right? You can go, go and download it. There are two PDF, one of class 11 chapters, one of class 12 chapters. And what you do is, once you have downloaded it, just go through the chapters which you find difficult. Go through the solved example and the NCRT back exercise because a lot of questions are actually framed from there. You don't have much time. So specifically for those chapters where you find it a little difficult, you can use this PDF. This is available on Need Prep Telegram channel. Okay. So this is pretty much it. One final advice. One final advice. Let's say your reporting time is 11.30 a.m. 
रिपोर्टिंग टाइम ओके लेट से योर सेंटर इज वन आवर अवे वन आवर अवे विच मीन्स इफ यू लीव एट टेन थर्टी यू विल रीच द सेंटर एट इलेवन थर्टी विच मीन्स गेट अप एट नॉट बिफोर नाइन ए एम बिकॉज यू हैव टू बी very very alert between 2 to 5 pm absolutely no sleeping between 2 to 5 pm i would strongly not recommend getting up early if you stay very far away from the center reach the city of the center near the center one night before so that there is no last minute hassle please understand this so i would recommend get into the habit of getting up at night getting ready by 10:30 having some light food then reaching center by 11:30 having some light snack and after that walking into the line to go into the center right practice this for next 2 3 days very very important that you are very alert between 2 to 5 pm please don't get up very early because your exam is from 2 pm to 5 pm and you should not feel sleepy at that time so student this is all i want to ask you one thing do you want me to come live tomorrow day after obviously i'm going to be live on sunday do you want me to come live for one hour tomorrow day after so that you can come and chat with me for 2 minutes and then go back to your studies or whatever you're doing or you are okay let me know if you want to come live tell me in the comment section and if a lot of you are saying yes come live that would be helpful that would help us relieve the pressure i'll do that let me know in the comment section this is my recommendation please try and manage pressure i'm sure things are going to be okay whatever is going to happen is going to happen for good for you